Hare Krishna Hare Krishna They are using uh, one liter of uh, cow ghee every day. This uh, 22 liter, and uh, in this 22 liter of pot, <coughs> one liter is ghee. It's uh, very important because without cow ghee, kichri it's not tasty. And uh, we need your support. Please uh, send us uh, cow ghee. Needed only cow ghee not uh, buffalo, only cow ghee, because we are cooking for Krishna. Uh, in Vrindavan, nobody cooking kitchen like this for distribution. But we cooking this for uh, Vrajavasi and uh, pilgrims, because <coughs> these pilgrims it's a guest of Krishna. Yes, and uh, needed uh, cooking nicely. So my humble request to you, please uh, help help us with ghee, with uh, other items. We need everything: ghee, rice, dal, spices, dona, chamach. Everything without your support, it's not possible. Kion ki mere pas paise nahi. Here is a new day in Vrindavan Dam. Our Takarje is makes our home bright and sweet and i'm very happy that we have radha Shyam and karahari and it's a morning but Aindra fell asleep and mataji her nanny helps a lot because uh, there are so many things to do in seva and my husband is also busy he woke up early he went to cook kitchen first then he ran 10 kilometers and now he's doing uh, exercises while i was chanting japa so uh, after breakfast, we are going to distribute kitchen, go out together. And uh, he inspires me. There's a little bit mess in the room, but sorry for that. But yeah, my husband inspires me and hopefully someone else for active life, life in Seva and taking care of oneself because we cannot do proper Seva if we do not care about the body, physical body is important. And for physical body, we do physical exercises. And for our mind, purification of mind, we chant Hare Krishna. Without purification of the mind, also nothing is possible, nothing good is possible. So, yeah, I'm going to continue my japa and later on distribute kitchen. Going for Kichu Seva. Best start of the day. Yo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare
hospital again in the hospital uh, in Vrindavan uh, because I'm planning to give birth here and I hope everything will be fine and I can uh, deliver baby here for Indra bar brother sister I don't know but the most uh, uh, attractive thing about this hospital is that, that it's called Radharani hospital uh, and in this hospital uh, I gave birth uh, Indra last time and even though it was not perfectly smooth, I still again came back here because the doctor is nice. She understands English nicely, we can communicate and uh, she can follow my uh, requests uh, in the process of uh, labor. It means like minimum of, uh, minimum of invasions, like it means no cutting, no uh, piercing the this bubble or how to say, I don't know, whatever, no injections, so naturally as much as possible. So you see this hospital is quite simple and some people recommend, they tell me, oh, you should better go to uh, Delhi, the medicine is better, the hospitals are more fancy. But honestly, I don't really care about uh, how pretty is this hospital and the room because rooms are really, really simple, hard bed <laughs> and uh, sometimes uh, not so like the dust of Vrindavan is everywhere <laughs> but I accept it as a blessing that uh, what the all, also very nice point here last time when Indra was born the doctor turned on Srila Prabhupada's chanting so Indra came out to this world uh, with chant with the Mahamantra of Srila Prabhupada with pure chanting so what can be better really even though the baby cannot appreciate the fancy room, the white walls and soft bed and me also I can be patient for some time I have my comfortable bed at home so I plan to give birth here and now I uh, did uh, ultrasound first time within this 30 weeks now I'm at 30 weeks and the doctor was shocked wow you didn't give blood test and ultrasound I didn't because uh, I, was, I was really relaxed and uh, trust in Krishna that everything will go the way it should go so after visit of the doctor I can say that everything is quite fine I just need to visit doctor once in a few weeks and I gave blood test I did ultrasound so yeah just waiting for um, the day to come and two maybe something more time to around two months ahead and during this time and 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 I feel quite energetic and willing to do seva in weather in Vrindavan is so nice not too hot now so we plan to do plenty of different seva at Radha Kund uh, to Gosh in Goshalas Kitchu seva sometimes for me Prabhuji will do it every day I will join sometimes so yeah I'm happy to be in Vrindavan again and hopefully a visa thing will be also resolved because uh, now we have visa till like maybe one more month but because I want to give birth in Vrindavan and I'm pregnant now we will have to extend it so I will apply 
for extension. So only Radharani and Krishna's mercy that we can stay. And please pray for, for this to happen with your own kind hearts. Hare Krishna.